What's up guys, it's Peanut here and today I'm bringing you a basic Cinema 4D tutorial and we're going to be using the basic um, techniques of um, relinquishes are going to be the extrude, maybe extrude and or maybe bubble and matrix extrude and we're going to be doing this with a capsule, this is going to be my first tutorial on TGN artists and all my tutorials now uh, will be for TGN artists to help the hub grow and we can get the views and the subscribers back up because we've made a new channel. So um, first off we're going to start off with a capsule. Um, it's going to do basic capsule modeling because people have asked me how I made it in um, in the jewel, jewel art that I did with Rology and the invasion um, jewel art. So um, what you want to do here, you just get the capsule out, stretch it out to wherever you want change the radius to wherever you want uh, I'll do about here change the height wherever you want as well and hit E on your keyboard just to move it back up so it won't be going into the ground and then I um, uh, want to do is go once you've got the proper size make sure you have all this done before you do this hit the polygon mode down here which is under edge mode and then you hit C on your keyboard to make it edit editable click select loop selection and then you go to the top click here leave this gap here click there here oh, while holding down shift so it highlights both from that same time you hit extrude go to apply put the offset down to about 6.5 ish yeah that's nice and then we're gonna do let's do like a blue glow so I'm changing it to any any color you want and you can just add glow um, change the inner strength to about 70 outer strength to um, 250 and you drag that on and you click the pre-render and that looks nice so um, it'll get better after this so um after you go back and hit select go to loop selection and click to wherever you want here the size to be done so you click here leave a gap hold down shift click here click there and click here click there so we've got to have three four five five done with the loop selection you right click and you extrude again but this time we're going to extrude out so it looks like an armored kind of shell type of thing put it to about 10 point about 10 minus on 10.2 and then um, you put the blue glow here and then after that you put go and select go back to loop selection and you go to here like highlight wherever you want here click here you go around and leave about four squares in between hold down shift click there leave another four squares shift here and another four squares well three actually in this bit and click here and then it will all be going inside each other and then you right click and you extrude apply uh, make sure you don't put it out too far or too more like too far in um, because it will look really awkward so we want to do change put it to about three put 3.5 negative 3.5 okay that looks nice and we're going to do an opposite color so we're going to put it to about red so you can actually instead of doing that you can just duplicate the material click on the material hold down control drag it out double click on it change this to red and then um, you drag it on to where the highlighted parts are do a quick re-render of that and that's here and um, what you want to do now is the actually first off you want to do this so highlight um, each bit in between here make sure you go round oh 
hold while holding down shift you go around here um i, I would use live selection but I don't, I'd, i prefer um the singular one on small surface areas because with live selection it could go wild and crazy and you could keep on highlighting parts that you don't want to to be highlighted and if you do make mistakes just hit control z on your keyboard so once we've finished going round which will be done now you right click on it and you do a smooth shift and what a smooth shift done is well what, what it does is basically what it says really you just like a smooth shift you move it out it's better than I think it depends on what you're using it for you if I find it better than um, uh, extrude because it's like smooth so you can put it in and it leaves the gap here and then I'm gonna turn that to red let's see what it looks like with the red yeah. maybe change it to a uh, blue yeah the blue mm. I'm not sure actually you can put it to whatever you want really I'm gonna put it back to a red um, control Z put it back to red because uh, the blue is kind of overpowering at the moment and then once that's done um, you go into here and you click these parts and um, we're gonna do the matrix extrude on this um, and you'll see why um, this is this isn't going to be exactly the same on how I did it in the speed that should be different to keep it um, keep things original and creative because with modeling things things can always be original and creative because it is anything that your imagination can produce so um, once you keep going around make sure you're holding shift while you're doing this or this will happen you click off it and you have to highlight all around again you just hit control Z okay and once you've gone all the way around um, you right click and you go on to matrix extrude you hit apply and then what that does it makes this you click this and um, once that does it you see this hit moving round um, you can make it however big you want I'm gonna put it to about about um, let's try 16 percentage percent then you right click and actually no you keep that there and then what you can do with this, you can change the move about, you can move it up, you can move it down, however you like. So uh, I'm going to move it up a bit. And then you can, this bit, which will curve it round. So you can spin it round to however you want. Let me put that back to zero. Now let me change the move so I can move it you can move it up and try and curve it round and then this is when the rotate happens and then you can make it curve into itself so you can rotate it to wherever you want it to happen really you can change the scale to make it sharp or make it look more hard I'll put it to about the scale on that bit 62 and you can move it in you can move it out you could do that matrix extrude can do pretty much a, a lot of things actually you could put leave that as zero you can just muck about with anything really you can do a lot with this you can twizzle it about anything until you get something really good let me change that to about back to zero and what you want to do here is you zoom in and you want to click each part to get the right color 
so um, I'm gonna pause this so you don't waste time and um, once I'm done I'll and um, we'll continue okay yo guys we're back and um, once you've gone around you just have to click click each, each bit singularly and while holding down shift um, if I did do the, if I did record this part, it would have made this tutorial drag on, and I don't want that to happen. I want it to be nice and quick, even though it's like 10 minutes long. But it is a modeling, and modeling does take time. So what you want to do with this, you can do extrude inner, and then you want it to, well, like you don't want it to be like like this. So when you click apply, you want it to be like moved in, but not too far in and not too far out. So um, I want it to be like here, and then what you can do with that, you can make these parts um red, and then once you're done with that, you can render that out, and voila, it looks like a red flame kind of, and um, I'm gonna do this um to make the outer the actual capsule itself a color um, I'm, gonna do, I'm probably going to make it like a grayish kind of color and um, so you hit the color put it to like a grayish blackish kind of color put the reflection on put it to Fresnel and make the brightness about 35 on each And um, that's put blurriness to about three percent as well. And you drag it to here, so you drag it before the actual material. So you put it on here, and it makes all of that black. But then we can do is drag it back and slot it in front of this blue, so then it gets only that part. And all you do with these render settings now that um, you just want to get to best quality as possible when you're modeling because quality is really good like you need good quality to make um, your model stand out so um, 1980 by um, 1080 resolution to about 100 put the save to about PNG you can save it to whatever you want. So I'll put this put this in my models. Um top model. Oh you can just save it to whatever you want. Keep alpha channel unchecked. Actually it you know, keep put alpha channel checked actually, sorry about that. And then um go to anti aliasing geometry best max level two by two keep threshold the same, have the glow there per effect, ambient occlusion leave that, all the settings to that same and global illumination and because we're using a model we'll put the IR plus QMC still image on GI mode irritants cache to stochastic samples on low recording density low, smoothing minimal no, smoothing weak and oversampling minimal, go to Iridence cache file and uncheck auto save. Now, once that's done, we can actually get a look at this. You can do this with different, you can duplicate this or anything you want, really. So, you can just click Control C, Control V, and you can move it about, do what you want with it. Go back to the normal edit, use model mode, change that. you can just move them about do whatever you want with it really so what I'm gonna do here you can just curve it round hold down shift while you're rotating so it does it by five percent each you thirty five percent there and thirty five percent here all you do is drag them, drag them up. They align with each other. Yep, pretty much. 
in line with each other, move them down a bit. And then what you want to do with it, you can just put this anyway, like this is anything you can do. Once you've done this model, you can use it for anything. And then I know these aren't in line, but it's just quick turn. And then once you do a quick pre render, you'll see the magic happen. So um, when you when you are using global illumination, uh, wait, something's happened here. But if some if it does come out blank, I'm not sure what's happened here with these renderings. Let's just see if it does come out. Well, something's probably wrong with the render settings. But I'm actually put that put that back to still image. See if that happens anything. What happens with that? Anyway, once I fix this, um, it's probably just my computer playing up. But um, yeah, this ends this tutorial really, and this is how you get the. Well, this is how you make a capsule model. This tutorial was about 16 minutes long. Sorry for this being super long. Um, hopefully my tutorials will get shorter. And well, this ends my tut. Um, thanks, thanks for listening. Make sure you re like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Peace. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video, sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.